the department never could reach 12 lakh crores in any of the previous years. So this year we not only reached 12, we crossed 12, we crossed 13 lakh and we reached 14 lakh crores. This is by far 2.5 lakh crores more than ever collected any time in the history of this department. This is the net collections after accounting for all refunds. If you look at the gross collections, our numbers are more than 16 lakh crores, 16.36 lakh crores. Never in the history of the department, our gross numbers, that is including refund, has gone beyond 12.98 lakh crores. Both in gross collection numbers and in net collection numbers, the direct the hardening of the direct tax collection numbers this year is a major indication of many things. One of the prime movers upwards of the collection numbers to rise is the strengthening of the Indian economy. This gives a clearest signal that the economy has bounced back after two bad years. As against 14.09 lakh crores of collection this year, our last year's collection was only 9.44 lakh crores. So in a single year, we were touching nearly upwards of 4 lakh, 4.5 lakh crores, which is roughly 49.5% more than the last year. This number, the reason as to why the number rose so sharply apart from the strengthening of the Indian economy also is partly accounted by the reforms which the government of India has been doing, persevering over a period of time. In the last five to six years, reforms within the department and reforms outside the department, they have all contributed in major part in getting the economy together, holding the economy together and also propelling the collections to move forward. Within the income tax department also, there are significant achievements all related to the reforms which we have done in the last two to three years. The bringing on of the faceless assessment appeal is one such example. Our technological induction in a much greater way into the department's functioning also is helping. The information collection system which we call the annual information system AIS and an improved version of 26 AS. It is making sure that anybody's financial transactions from different sources, from different reporting entities, they are compiled and on a real time or on a small, uh, or a small time lag, it is getting back to that potential taxpayer or the taxpayer. So he is seeing his own transactions in his own way. The annual information system <laughs> phase one and phase two, capturing various transactions of, of a particular entity, be it from purchase and sale of units, or purchase and sale of shares, purchase and sale of house property, his interest, his rental income, etc. They are not being compiled only, they are also being sent back to him, that these are your transactions. Is there any tax consequence for the, all the activities which you have done? And I'm proud to say, that this has had a positive impact on our collection numbers. Instead of relying on the taxpayer to go and get all the data from many other sources, from many sources, now the taxpayer has to rely on the information given by the income tax department to prepare his return. Pre-filling of the return also is a great step in helping the taxpayer. We want 
sincerely that the taxpayer is inconvenienced the least for filing the tax return and paying his taxes. The tax filing should be an experience he should remember very fondly. We will go all the way to expand the taxpayer base. The taxpayer base has increased in some major in this year compared to last year. This year's taxpayers numbers have increased to 7.14 crores, which was 6.97 crores last year. So that is, a, that is an increase, but we want the taxpayer base also to increase and we also want people migrate from one lower quadrant of taxable entity to a higher quadrant. As economy gets harder and gets more strength and as the taxpayer base increase, there is prosperity around, I am sure the tax collections numbers, they increase. At this point in time, the tax to GDP ratio is around 12%. There is absolute sincere effort on part of the department that this uh, direct tax to GDP increase to 15 to 20 percent in 5, 10, 15 years time. And also at this point in time as I speak, direct tax collections this year, it has surpassed the indirect tax collections, which was the other way around in the last year. It is now 52 percent. We want as a department and even the government would like the direct taxes to increase further in the tax mix. Our aim is to look at 60 percent of the tax contributions coming from direct taxes in some years time. There is constant effort on part of the department to expand the tax base and make the tax filing and the tax payment experience of the taxpayers easier and more convenient. So this is as far as the last year which has gone by an account of that. Let me also tell you that the numbers for the current year, the budget estimates number, BE number for 22-23 is 14.20 lakh crores. Because we have achieved 14.09 lakh crores this year, there is absolute certainty. We are on a very strong wicket as far as collections are concerned. We are hope, very hopeful that 22-23 numbers also will be crossed. As far as Odisha is concerned, its uh, direct tax collection numbers are concerned, Odisha has done remarkably well, just like India has done overall. Odisha's number last year, I mean year before last, 2021, was a little over 10,000 crores. This year, it is in 15,500 bracket. So Odisha's increase is almost equal to India's increase. Odisha's direct tax numbers is a exact replica of what's happening to India overall, the, the direct taxes. The tax filing numbers also for Odisha at 12.94 lakh also is a significant increase over the previous years. All said and done, I have the fullest confidence that Odisha on its part is contributing to the direct tax collections in its own way out of a 14.09 lakh crores 15,000 crores may not appear sizable, but it is one of the areas which we are looking at. We want Odisha, the taxpayer base and the collection numbers to increase and with the potential it has, there is good enough hope and reason as to why Odisha also will come up. It is now at 16th position out of the 11, out of the 18 principal chief charges, but slowly got every hope that Odisha also will rise in the leaderboard positions in the years to come. Uh, so my, um, uh, I leave uh, you know, um, uh, this uh, point uh, with fullest confidence that 
as a department, we are on the right track with the greatest of the cooperation and guidance from the government with regard to policy matters. And uh, this is the way forward, collaborating with each other, helping out each other, getting the best possible policy advice from the government and moving forward for executing those. Thank you.